nataka nimjue Yesu Asifiwe neno la kutuongoza latoka katika kitabu cha wamuzi Bwana asifiwe 34 hadi 35 Neno la Mwenyezi Mungu lasemba hivi Kisha Jafati akafika Mispa nyumbani kwake na tazama bibi yake akatoka kumlaki na matari na machezo naye alikuwa ni mwana wake wa pekee hakuwa na mwingine wala binti mwana mwana wake wa pekee hakuwa na mwingine wala ila yeye ikawa alipomuona akararua fazi yake 
akasema ole mwana wangu mwana wangu umenitesa sana nawe ni mmoja miongoni mwa hao wananisumbua kwa kuwa mimi nimekufununulia bwana kinywa changu nami siwezi kuregea nyumbani na tuombe baba mtakatifu mno katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuwasongea mbele zako asubuhi njema tukikushukuru kwa ajili ya wema na ukuu wako Tuasema ni asante asubuhi njema mwokozi kwa kuwa uwepo wako uko pamoja nasi. Tuasema ni asante kwa ajili ya ibada yetu siku ya leo. Tuasema ni asante mwokozi sababu utatuhudumia. Twakutegemea, twakutarajia baba yetu wa mbinguni. Wewe ndiye tumaini we, yetu katika maisha haya. Toomba baba ukawe pamoja nasi. Tunapohudumu katika madhabahu yako baba yetu wa mbinguni ukatutakase damu ya mwana wako Yesu Kristo ikawe pamoja nasi tuhudumie twakutarajia na twakutarajia katika kila jambo ambalo tutafanya likawa ni lila, linatokana juu kwako katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini amen, amen. bwana asifiwe praise and worship Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Ni siku nyingine zema Mungu ametupa ili tumwabudu. Eh tutaenda kusifu kwa hivyo ambao unasema tunamwambia Mungu apokee sifa na utukufu kwa kuwa ni yeye anastahili na hakuna mwingine. Shangilia Bwana.
Baba Mungu mwenyezi tunakuja bere zako asubuhi ya leo kukuambia unastahili. Asante Mungu kuona ime, Jehova tumefika ubali huu Mungu wa Israeli. Tunasema asanti kwa sababu ya afya Mungu wangu. Asanti kwa maana ulionelea ikue heri na sisi na tukuja kanisani siku ya leo. Hatujajichukulia tu likiwa jambo la kawaida Mungu wa Israeli. Tunachukua siku ya leo Mungu wa Israeli tukiwa na shukurani mioyoni mwetu Mungu wa Israeli. Tukiwa ni zawadi umetunuku ume patia kutoka juu biguni siku ya leo tunaomba ukaipokea ibada yetu Mungu wa Israeli pokea ibada yetu tukikwambia asanti Mungu wa Israeli asante sababu ya kutuuganisha hapa Mungu wa Israeli Jehova tunakumbuka miaka miwili iliyopita hatukuwa tunaingia kanisani bali siku ya leo umeona ni heri tukuja kanisani tumekuja kukushukuru Mungu wa Israeli sisi ni wateda dhabi tulioko mbele yako Mungu wa Israeli. Tunaomba ukatusafi na damu yako ya mwanao Jehova uliomwaga msarabani Mungu wa Israeli. Haikuwa damu ya bure bali ilimwagiwa sisi wote Mungu wa Israeli tukakoborewe. Siku ya leo tunaomba kukoborewa ndani ya dhabi ya dhabi tulizofanya Mungu wa Israeli. Tukisema hatujafanya dhabi Mungu wa Israeli tutakufanya mwogo. Bali siku ya leo tunakuja mbele zako na kuugama dhabi zetu Mungu wa Israeli. Ile damu iliyomwagika msarabani tunajichovia ndani yake mara saba asubuhi ya leo Mungu wa Israeli tunaomba tukianza ibada ya leo ukaenda na sisi Mungu wa Israeli tunaomba ukakutakaza Mungu wa Israeli tunaomba Mungu wa Israeli ukaenda na sisi kama vile Musa alivyokuliria Mungu wa Israeli siku ya leo tumekuja na mahitaji bere zako Mungu wa Israeli tunataka kukubuka washirika wote pahali waliopo Mungu wa Israeli tunaomba ukawakubuke Mungu wa Israeli wale walioko bali na wale walio karibu Mungu wa Israeli unajua mahitaji yao Mungu wa Israeli unajua kila kinawasumbua Jehova hatutawasahau wale hawajai rudi kanisani kutoka wakati wa corona Mungu wa Israeli tunaomba kuanzia leo ukawarudisha Mungu wa Israeli tunaomba kuanzia leo ukawasimamisha tena Mungu wa Israeli wengine walipitia hali gumu na wakashindwa Mungu wao wako wapi Mungu wa Israeli Tunaomba siku ya leo ukaonekane Jehova. Turudishie wote waliopotea hiyo wakati Mungu wa Israeli. Na ukifanya hivyo sifa na utukufu sitakuridhia. Asante kwa kwa sababu umetuweka Kenya wakati kama huu Mungu wa Israeli. Wakati tunaelekea uchaguzi. Kitu moja tunaomba ni ukatuchagulia kiongozi. Tunakataa na kiongozi atainuliwa na wadamu Mungu wa Israeli. Eh Mungu wa Israeli yenda na ukamwagia Daudi mafuta Mungu wa Israeli. Mwagia kiongozi wa Kenya mafuta wakati kama huu. Tunakataa na na vita katika hii nchi tunataka kutangazia Kenya ile damu iliyomwagika msarabani imetosha hatutaki damu ingine kumwaga Mungu wa Israeli juu ya nchi e, nao today Jehovah God madhabahu yote iliyoinuliwa kinyume na Kenya tunataka kuikataa sasa Mungu wa Israeli tunainua madhabahu ya Jehovah juu na juu zaidi Mungu wa Israeli maneno yote iliyomneno wa kinyume na hii taifa tunataka kuinua one thing that we know Jehovah God Kenya will be a springboard of revival Jehovah God we refuse other words that people say Jehovah Mungu wa Israeli na sasa Mungu wa Israeli tunaelekea wakati wa uchaguzi we shall not be victim of elections Jehovah God we shall not Jehovah God our business will not be victim of election Mungu wa Israeli as you say Jehovah God in Proverbs 18:21 Jehovah God leo tunakuja kukataana na roho wote inaweza inuka kumwaga damu katika barabara zetu Mungu wa Israeli roho yote inaweza jiinua wakati huu tunaikataa Mungu wa Israeli Kenya ni nchi ya waobezi Mungu wa Israeli na waobezi watasimama yule Mungu wa Israeli hutaki atuogoze Jehovah usitupatie tunaweka Kenya mikononi mwako wa kama huu thank you jehovah god some of us we are parent jehovah god and if those who are not parent jehovah god one thing you agree jehovah god you are blessing them with children jehovah god mungu wa israeli hii muhura walioko mungu wa israeli imeitanishwa na moto katika shule we refuse it now jehovah god we want to declare there will be no fire in our schools jehovah god there will not be fire in our institution of learning jehovah god jehovah we want to declare our kids will not be victim of so jehovah god watoto wetu wakienda wamebarikiwa mungu wa israeli watoto wetu wakirudi utaenda na wao Jehovah God may you provide for this kid Jehovah God one thing we want to declare Jehovah God we are steward of this kid Jehovah God you are their God Jehovah Mungu wa Israeli tunaomba ukawarida wakiada na wakirudi Mungu wa Israeli enenda na wao Jehovah God we pray for order in this education system Jehovah God we pray that Jehovah God you may reinstate order Jehovah God may you reinstate this spring Jehovah Mungu wa Israeli Jehovah tunakuomba ukasomesha uka, uka watoto wetu kuligana na vile ungetaka Mungu wa Israeli 
Israeli. Na ukifanya hivyo sifa na, tuku, na utukufu zitakurudia. Asante kwa sababu siku ya leo ulitupatia hii kanisa la sisi ya kitakera tau chifu Mungu wa Israeli. Sasa tunainua juu madhabahu yako Mungu wa Israeli. Tunakataana na mambo yote inaweza kuja kusimama na madhabahu yetu Mungu wa Israeli. Damu iliyomwagika msalabani Mungu wa Israeli. Tunajichovya mara saba na kukataana na mambo yote maovu inaweza pagwa kinyume Mungu wa Israeli. Tunakataana na mambo yote inaweza pagwa kinyume na madhabahu yote. Roho zote zinainuka kupigana na hii madhabahu Mungu wa Israeli. Asubuhi ya leo twalilia damu ya mwanao Kristo. Jehova asubuhi ya leo twalilia damu yako Jehova. Twalilia jina lako Mungu wa Israeli. Twainua jina lako juu zaidi ya majina yote. Jehova jitwalie sifa katika hii madhabahu Mungu wa Israeli. Tunaomba hii madhabahu ikakuwe na urejesho Mungu wa Israeli. Tunaomba hii madhabahu ikakuwe na upomanyaji Mungu wa Israeli. Tunakataana na ukawaida wa madhabahu Mungu wa Israeli. You are the God who started the altar Jehovah God. May you come and run this altar Jehovah Kai Mother Maki Mwega. Na sifa na utukufu zitakurudia Mungu wa Israeli. Kila nafsi itakuja Mungu wa Israeli ikiwa inainama Mungu wa Israeli. Tunaomba ukainiwe Jehovah Mungu wa Israeli. Kama kuna pahali tuliyokuasi Jehovah Mungu wa Israeli. Tunaomba tukarudi kwako Mungu wa Israeli. Tunakurudia kwa sababu wewe ndiye mwanzilishi wa kanisa Mungu wa Israeli. Kuja uianze tena Mungu wa Israeli. Isikuwe tu ni kama kawaida. Na ukifanya hivyo sifa na utukufu sitakurudia Mungu wa Israeli. Jehovah we want to remember all the Kenyans living in this country Jehovah God. We are going through hardship in economic times Jehovah God. May you have mercy in this country Jehovah God. May you multiply our finances Mungu wa Israeli. Tunajua kuna watu wanakufa jamu Mungu wa Israeli. This is not your will Jehovah God. We have not reached a point where Kenyans can die of hunger Jehovah God. May you touch our government Mungu wa Israeli. Isaone vile mambo haienedi haienedi vizuri Jehovah God. We remember the economic hard times Jehovah God you are facing Jehovah God. We pray Jehovah Mungu wa Israeli vile maisha inakibia. Ukatuende ukatu ukatilia maisha yetu baraka na ukifanya hivyo sifa na utukufu zitakurudia tunakumbuka mnenaji wa neno lako siku ya leo Mungu wa Israeli tunaomba ukamkumbuke tu kama shoba Mungu wa Israeli akoogea na nafasi nafsi yote iliyo hapa familia yote iliyosimama Mungu wa Israeli tunaomba ukaogea nao Mungu wa Israeli mahitaji yote tuileta kwako Mungu wa Israeli Jehovah may you have your will in our lives Jehovah God as your word declare Jehovah God Jeremiah 29 verse 11 for I know the good plans I have for you This is the planning Jehovah God we are calling for our lives Jehovah God. Uh, we nullify every evil plan that has been planned by the Jehovah Jehovah God. And this morning Jehovah God, we by the spirit of poverty Jehovah God in our nation Jehovah God. We by the spirit of war and tribalism Jehovah God in our country Jehovah God. We by the spirit of shedding innocent blood Jehovah God. Even the spirit of road accident in our in our, in our roads Jehovah God we want to bind it now Jehovah God. The spirit of our school Jehovah God be in bond now Jehovah God we reduce it now Jehovah God whatever Jehovah we pray that Jehovah God mwaka roho wako mtakatifu katika hii nchi na ukifanya hivyo sifa na utukufu zitakurudia tukaapo chini Mungu wa Israeli tunaomba ukakuwe mgeni wetu na ni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini amen baba yetu alie juu biguni jina lako litukuzwe walioko nje waingie huko na nafasi huku mbele bwana asifiwe ni wakati wa kusifu bwana na tunaanza na district ya Amani district wakuje na ili tusifu Mungu pamoja tusifu bwana pamoja Amani district wakati huo huo kwaya ikijitayarisha Na hata kama uko na watoto njoo pamoja nao. Pia watoto wetu waje ni sisi uko kazi siku ya leo. Bwana asifiwe.
Mawe koma muadani. Ma kogegania e. Kunene yo na goteo. Niagere ire kwa barario. Mawe koma muadani. Asifiwe, to appreciate wana amani vizuri Ndiyo, hakuna mungu mwingine juu na chini Wana asifiwe, ispokuwa yeye alie tukomboa na damu ya dhamana Ni wakati wa kwaya, kwaya wanakoa apigio makofi wanapokuja
appreciate wanakoya wetu vizuri wametuimbia vizuri uh, ni wakati wa matangazo uh, na tutatangaziwa na chairman wetu karibu chairman bwana asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe uh, tunashukuru mungu sababu ya nafasi ambayo wametupa siku ya leo ili tuje katika nyumba yake tuweze kumwabudu tuweze kusikia neno lake na tuweze kubarikiwa na kwa hivyo napenda kuchukua nafasi hii kuwakaribisha nyinyi wote mliopata nafasi hiyo katika kanisa hili letu la Kitengera Township Church na ningependa kuwatambua wale ambao ni siku yao ya kwanza kushiriki pamoja nasi ikiwa uko hapo sitakwambia sitakwambia ukuje hapa mbele mahali tu ulipo simama ili tuweze kutambua uwepo wako ni siku yako ya kwanza asanti sana tumpigie makofi uh, yes tuko na mwingine pale appreciate him ah tuko na wengi pale nyumba kuna wengine na kwa yetu simkaribishe wageni ni wengi sana na tunashukuru Mungu Asante sana tuwapigie kwa ya makofi. Wageni wetu karibuni sana na tutakapomaliza ibada ukitoka pale nje kuna chumba chetu ambacho kimeandikwa VIP tent. Tafadhali tukutane hapo na ili tuweze kujuana zaidi. Na ikiwa utarudi mahali ambapo unaapo wabudu, toaomba uende na salamu zetu. Asanteni sana mnaweza keti. Uh, tunazidi kuwahimiza ya kwamba tuzidi kuny uh, kwa kuna tunazidi kusistiza uh, kuangalia kanuni za Ministry of Health kuvaa mask especially pahali kuna watu wengi sababu tunajua hatari ambazo tunaweza waletea wengine kwa hivyo tunawaomba katika ibada kama hii ni vizuri sana tukue na mask ili tuweze kufuata kanuni ambazo tumepewa especially pahali kuna watu wengi uh, kutoka kikundi cha PCMF Presbyterian Church Men Fellowship Uh, tunayo admission na dedication ambao ni a badge ambao itakayofanyika mwezi wa June which is next month na tunaulizwa tukaweza kurejesta na carrier who is the PCMF chairman amangari the PCMF secretary ikiwa we ni mmoja ambao uko na interest uh, naomba u record hizo namba ili uweze uh, kupata hizo huduma uh, tunapoendelea na benchmark inatuhimiza ya kwamba tujaribu kutafuta taranta ambazo ziko ndani yetu. Miongoni mwetu kuna taranta nyingi na tunaona kikundi chetu cha sifa kuanzia Januari mpaka Disemba nyuso ni zile zile. Na benchmark inatuhimiza ya kwamba tujaribu kutafuta taranta ambazo ziko miongoni mwetu. Na ndio maana kikundi cha Prison Worship kinaomba ya kwamba ikiwa uko pale wewe ni mwimbaji, wewe ni muombezi. Uh, tafadhali chukua namba yake Dennis iko pale kwa screen uweze kumpigia na ili usikalie uh, taranta yako tumehimiziwa katika ki, ki, uh, uh, kiingereza na mhubiri wetu ya kwamba it's about commitment kwa hivyo ukiwa uko na taranta usikae chini ukaangalia wengine maandiko ya bwana inasema katika kitabu cha Romans 14:12 that we are going to account for what god has given unto us bwana asifiwe na kwa hivyo wewe ukiwa pale ungehitaji kuja ujumuike na wana sifa fanya hivyo na Mungu atakubariki. Na pia tunapenda kuwashukuru. Tulikuja hapa tukawaomba mtupe waalimu wa chat school and we got that one. Just imagine that one of you was, was seated here and there are people who are talented and who can be able to take care of our children. Kwa hivyo naomba tusizidi kukaa na talanta zetu tujitokeze. Na sio prison worship peke yake kuna huduma nyingi katika kanisa hili. Kwa hivyo ukiwa uko na huduma yoyote ambayo ungependa kuhudumu na ha, Haujui namna nione na nitaweza kukusaidia. Ah uh, tunaalifua ya kwamba tunaalifua ya kwamba uh, boys and girls brigade classes 
zime resume na ni Saturday kuanzia 2 pm mpaka 4 pm tafadhali tunaomba msiweke watoto nyumbani waleteni hapa na ili waweze kujumuika na wengine katika mafunzo ambao ni muhimu sana hili ni kumbusho tu ya kwamba shule yetu inaendelea kupanuka na tuko na mjengo ambao unaendelea wa junior high school pale Enga City na mchungaji wetu siku ya Ijumaa Friday wiki ambao tunaingia kesho atakuwa akiwekelea the foundation stone na kama washirika wa kanisa hili kama wenye mradi huu mnaulizwa ya kwamba mkaweza kujitokeza itakuwa masaa mawili peke yake kuanzia saa tatu hadi saa tano, ili tuweze kujumuika tunaposherekea ushindi wa Bwana Uh, tunaendelea kukumbusha ya kwamba uh, tulikuwa tukue na district Sunday on the 22nd of May lakini kwa sababu ya licensing ya mchungaji wetu itakuwa 19th of June kwa hivyo district tafadhali take note of that so that tujue ya kwamba si 22nd bali ni 19th of June uh, Juma lijaro hatutakuwa na ibada mbili na ningependa irekebishwe pale sababu ndio siku ya licensing ya mchungaji wetu student minister na ibada itakayoongozwa na presbytery itaanzia saa tatu hadi saa sita. kwa hivyo tutakuwa na ibada mbili na ibada hizi zitaongozwa uh, na presbytery lakini washemanzi watakuwa ni PCMF na Umads Guild kwa hivyo ni vizuri to note that hatutakuwa na service mbili tutakuwa na service moja ambayo itaanza saa tatu hadi saa sita na tutaweza kuwa kubarikiwa. Tunaendelea kukaribishwa uh, katika licensing ya student minister brother Wickliffe Juma. Wengi wenyu mnamjua amekuwa baraka katika kanisa hili katika vikundi uh, na amemaliza masomo yake na akaweza kuja practicals katika parish yetu ya Kitengela na mmekuwa supportive kwa ministry yake na siku ya Ijumapili atakuwa kifanywa licensing. Licensing ni kuvalishwa kola ili awe mchungaji. Na kwa hivyo anapoanza huduma yake tunaomba sisi wote tujitokeze ili tuweze kusimama na yeye ili atakapokuwa kianza huduma akaweza kuwa amesimama vizuri. Na kwa hivyo tunaulizwa tuje katika viwango vile ambavyo tumearifiwa tutakuwa na appreciation ya mchungaji kuanzia presbytery kuanzia kuendelea kwa parish kwa congregations, kwa groups, kwa districts, kwa institutions na individuals. Hata sisi ameweza kutuhudumia binafsi na tunaomba pia tukuje na ili tuweze kusimama naye na tutakuwa kubarikiwa. Uh, na kwa hivyo napenda sasa kusoma barua ambayo imeandikwa kutoka presbytery ambao ni ya kumuingiza kazi bwana Ishma uh, Wikrif Juma Oyengo. Presbytery ya Kajiado imepokea barua ya kutumwa kwa Wycliffe Juma Oyengo, mwanafunzi wa theolojia na tume ya kufundisha wachungaji wa kanisa hili. Presbytery ya Kajiado ilijurishwa tume ya ilijurisha tume ya kufundisha wachungaji kuhusu jitihada za Bwana huyu. Nayo na tume ikaonyesha kutosheka na kuendelea kwake katika kazi ya kujizoesha huduma njema na ikaonelea kwamba apewe cheti ama license cha kuhudumu basi presbytery ya Kajiado inatoa tangazo kwa watu wote wanaohusika ikiwa mmoja wao yuko na jambo lolote la kupinga kutokana na maisha mwenendo au imani ya bwana Wikrif Juma Oyengo anaulizwa aseme wazi na apeane sababu ya kukataa kwake kwa presbytery ya Kajiado itakayokutana katika kanisa la PCA Kitengera Township tarehe 12 22 that is coming sunday mwezi huu wa tano mwaka wa 2022 ya uh, 22 saa tatu asubuhi kama hakuna jambo litakalo onyesha na lidhibitishe lidhibitishwe presbytery itaendelea kumpa license bwana Wikrif Juma Oyengo hii ni kwa idhini ya presbytery ya Kajiado ambao barua imeandikwa na mhudumu katika Kristo Reverend David Mudhoi presbytery Crack kwa hivyo uh, hayo ni kuhusiana na licensing ambayo itakuwa siku ya Jumapili na kwa hivyo tuendelee kuombea mchungaji wetu Wikrif anapo endelea kumalizia safari hii ya masomo. Uh, tuko na harusi ambao ningependa kutangaza pia. 
ya mmoja wetu ambaye amekuwa uh, mwalimu wetu wa brigade na chat school uh, na ningependa kuisoma kama vile imeandikwa uh, wana vyombo naomba mtengeneze vyombo proclamation of wedding bands there is purpose of marriage between Mr Moses Wanjohi Wafula of ACK Mukuria Hongo Parish Muranga and Ms Tabitha Eva Ngendo Foro of PCA Kitengera Township Church. Nilikuwa nimeona wakiwa ingiri service na pia nawaona saa hii. Siwaje hapa mbele tuwaone. Eh Tabitha na na Moses. Tuwapigie makofi. Eh, ni vizuri kuwashangilia ili hata kama wewe hujapata utapata. If there is anyone here present aware of any lawful impediment to this marriage, let him or her declare it. If no objection is made, the two shall be joined in holy marriage on the 28th of May 2022 at PCA Kitengela Township Church at 10:30 a.m. It is hereby certified that the above purpose of marriage was duly proclaimed at a public worship at PCA Kitengela Township Church and that no objections were offered. You are seen the Lord's service, Reverend Dr. Hezekiah Muraya, our parish minister. Uh, Tabitha, ni mwalimu wetu, na watakuja kwenyu kuwaomba muwasaidia katika hali hii, tafadhali tuwashikia mkono, na hili waweze kubarikiwa wanapo wanza ndowa yao. Bwana wabariki, mnapo keti. Uh, Niko na barua pia mtasoma ambayo ni ya benchmark kama mnavyojua uh, mchungaji wetu the Reverend Dr. Ezekiel Muraya uh, amekuwa mstari wa mbele kutuomba tuingie katika hali ya benchmark na nitasoma barua ambayo inahusiana na benchmark uh, benchmark evaluation for the period of January to March 2022 Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank the Lord for his blessing and love that endures forever. As part of the performance benchmarking process, I take this opportunity to highlight on the self-evaluation process whereby it's a gauge of how far the implementation of the benchmark process has been undertaken. The offices of the session, LCC, church groups and districts should do the self-evaluation and submit to the Office of the Undersigned by 27th of May, 2022. Attached is the evaluation sheet for the said purpose, yours in Christ, Reverend Dr. Hezekiah Muraya, our parish minister. So we have our template uh, on how we are going to fill uh, our evaluation, and so we will be sending it in our, in, our, in our forums. Kindly ensure you note the deadline so that we can be able to give our first report or evaluation report for the period January to March. Thank you so much. Uh, lastly, uh, I want to announce that we'll be having guild commissioning on the 29th of May. Tutakuwa na commissioning ya wana guild na wengine watavalisho badge na ningependa kusoma majina ya wale ambao watakuwa waki, uh, wakifanyua kazi. Uh, tunaanza na wale wa, wa commission wale wa bao watafungwa wa kitambaa uh, tuko na Martha Jane Wanjiko Upper Hill District Regina Wangare Ngige Upper Hill District Beatrice Mogore Maigua New Vari Monica Njoki Maina New Vari Anu Wairimo Kibe New Vari Charity Nyawera Mwaura New Vari Mauricio Wawiri Kiroli New Vari Caroline Wodaya Kemodo New Vari Irene Siongwa Mwangi, Nyuvari, uh, Esther Mudoni Kamande, Nyuvari, Margaret Wanjiro Ndongo Tumaini, Monica Nyawera Kirago Tumaini, Rose Nyambura Ndongo Tumaini, Janet Warogoro Kemunge Bethel, Hannah Waidira Kialie Bethel, Caroline Wanjiko Kamau Amani, Catherine Wamboi Ndegwa Amani, Ruth Jambi Ndongo Upendo, Mary Wanjiro Kuria New Praza, Madan Jairi Gashanja New Praza, Penina Wanjiko Geshoke New Praza, Joyce Njeri Njoroge New Praza, 
Regina Wanyaga Nyamae, Emmanuel, Esther Waidira Njuguna, Emmanuel, Catherine Wawero Irongo Unity, Mase Wanjiko Kamau Trinity, Lilian Wanjiro Moriuki Trinity, Juria Wangari Njoroge Gariri, Grace Atieno Obel Judea, Charity Wawera Ngugi, Nyumwanzo, Faith Wamboi Mwangi Milimani, Firis Nyokabi Gedenji Nyumwanzo, Jerio Duangare Kiyama Gateway, Jacqueline Makena Roberts Baraka, Jane Wangeshi Kingori Mwangaza, Ruth Wanjiko Karangi, Mount Zion, that is Neema Church, Beatrice Wamoyo Getare, Mount Zion Neema, Lucy Wanjiro Njogona, Trinity Neema, Miriam Wanjiko Karioki, Mount Zion Neema, Beatrice Wanjiro Kanae, Shalom Neema, Frida Wanjiko Kamau El Shaddai Bethel, Anne Nihandegwa Hope Bethel Church, Elder Naomi Kadurembae, Empiris Toniavi, Mini Gashuka Gatito, Airview Bedsider, Charity Wanjiko Ochola, Airview Bedsider, Jane Jambi Ngoge, Airview Bedsider, Monica Warukira Ndongo, Samaria Bedsider, and Ridia Wanjiro Ngasha, Airview Bedsider. Aundi watakao fungu wa kitamba, na pia ningependa kuwasomea ambao watakuwa wakipata batch. Kadri Mudoni Kefue, Agape, Florence Mudoni Mashalia Baraka, Edna Sievuna Malobe Baraka, Caroline Mwikali, Muya Bethel, Catherine Wanjiro Mureithi Bethel, Margaret Wamaida Rukwaro Bethel, Caroline Wamboi Ngesho Mirimani, Susan Jerry Murege Mwangaza, Naomi Wanjiro Mboro Judea, Jane Nyambura Mutonya Gariri, Elizabeth Jerry Magana Tumaini, Hannah Wanjiro Kemani Ebenezer, Helen Wangari Ngoge Emmanuel, Mirka Wanja Kiari Emmanuel, Nancy Kajuju Kinoti Trinity, Bedshiba Mudoni Mwangi Trinity, Rose Njeri Mashari Hope, Charity Wanjiro Ndegwa Hope, Susan Wanjiro Mohu Mirimani, Anjeli Mwangi Tumaini, Beatrice Wangoi Mwangi Tumaini, Mary Waidera Duo Tumaini, Emma Njoki Gedenji, Upper Hill, Mary Wanjiko Wanjohi, Upper Hill, Purity Gadigia Kefue, Upper Hill, Mary Waidera Duo Unity, Royce Nyagodhie Kafonoki Nyumwanzo, and Elizabeth Wanjiko Geshohe Upper Hill. Bedside the church, we have Caroline Joki, Karaoke Judea, Rose Wangoi Ngaho Samaria, Gradis Watere Mwaneki Parkview. Bethel church, we have Naomi Wanjiro Mbogwa Bethel, Alice Wanjeri Nganga Bethel. Naema church, we have Elder Dr. Ruth Rohio, uh, Ambaye Ni Wa Trinity. Kwa hivyo, hayo ndiyo majina ya wale ambao watakao fanyiwa kazi siku ya siku ya ijuma ya, ya, ya jumapili uh, uh, tarehe 29 uh, mwezi huu na tunawatakia kila laheri wanapoingia katika hiyo huduma bwana wabariki to more appreciate our chairman vizuri kwa matangazo mengi na mimi naona leo watu wanalalalala sijui kwa nini hebu tuamke wote bwana asifiwe Sijui ni joto imekuwa nyingi, tuamuke, tuamuke, tuinue mikono juu, kama tunasifu, na kama uinui mimi na kuona, kama unalega lega, mimi na kuona, na kuona, na kuona, tuinue kabisa. Aya, tulale upande moja, upande ya pili, aha, tukae chini. Ni wakati wa kuombea watoto, na eo dawetu eo dajunge. Watoto na waje. Watoto bwana asifiwe. Praise God children. Praise God children again. Amen. Aya asanteni watoto kwa kuweza kuja kanisani. Tunataka kuomba naomba tusurie naomba tusurie na wote waniangalie hapa kila mtu aniangalie kila mtu aniangalie hapa mmebarikiwa sana 
Uh, leo tumesikia ni district gani inaongoza church? Ni district gani inaongoza ibada? Nani anajua? District gani? Amani district. Amani. Amani district. Nani Amani. elder wa hiyo district ambayo inaongoza kanisa? Hapa tuko na watoto wa Amani district. Tuko na wao? Tuko na wao? Unajua elder wa Amani district? Eh? Nani anajua mkono juu? Haya, kuja utuambie. Elda Kapai. Tumpigie makofi. Haya, nataka tu kiri imani ya mitume tukiri vile ambavyo tunaamini si tunaamini Yesu nani atatuongoza kukiri imani ya mitume oh utatuongoza haya kuja hapa haya kuja utuongoze Naomba twende wote pamoja. Na muamini. Na muamini kwamba Baba wetu, Mungu wa mbinguni na nchi, na Yesu Kristo bwana wako wa pekee, Bwana wetu, aliyechukuliwa kwa kuweza na mtakatifu, akazaliwa na Mike Mriamu, akateswa zamani za Ponsio Pilato, akasulubiwa, akafa, akazikwa, akashuka kuzimu. Siku ya tatu akafufuka kutoka kwa wafu akapaa mbinguni ameketi mkono wa kuma Mungu Baba mwenyezi kutoka huko akamjua kwa mtu wa Yesu mtakatifu kanisa takatifu mwenye mwanzo ni shirika takatifu ambelewa wa dhati na kufunga kwa Mungu na uzima wa Mungu amen amen ah tufunge macho na tuombe kama unaniona hujafunga macho Kama unaniona hujafunga macho tufunge macho na tuombe Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumekuja mbele zako asubuhi ya leo Mungu na Baba wetu tukikushukuru tukikwambia ni asanti kwa baraka zako mingi ambazo Mungu wetu umetubariki nazo Asanti Mungu wetu kwa kuweza kutupa hawa watoto na ili Mungu wetu tuwaweze kuwalea. Tunakurudishia shukurani na tunasema ni asanti kwa sababu ya hawa watoto na wengine ambao wako nyumbani, wengine ambao wako shuleni. Wote Mungu tuwakushukuru kwa sababu ya hao. Na hawa watoto Bwana sasa tuwaleta mikononi mwako. Tukikuomba Mwenyezi Mungu kaweze kuwaongoza, kaweze kuwarinda, ukaweze Mungu kuwa hifadhi katika wema wako. Warinde na janga rote Bwana. Mungu wetu wakiwa shuleni, wakiwa nyumbani, mahali popote ambapo watakuwa Mungu wetu. Tuwaombea kila raheri katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tuwakumbuka ambao wako shuleni, nao pia tuwaombea baraka zako kwa wabariki, wanapoendelea na masomo, Mungu wetu kae pamoja na wao, baraka zako zikawe juu yao. Asanti Mungu wetu kwa wengine ambao ni wakubwa kushinda hao wanarika, wote Bwana nao pia tuwaweka mikononi mwako, ukawabariki na Mungu wetu ukae pamoja na wao. Wakumbuka wa, watoto wengi Bwana ambao wanatabika wakati huu. Wengine hawana chakula, wengine hawana mafa, mavazi, wengine hawana mahali pa kulala. Wote Bwana ni watoto wako. Tuwakuomba Mungu wetu aweze kuwakumbuka na Mungu wetu kawajaria wema wako. Mungu wetu ni asanti kwa wazazi wote nao tuwaombea Mungu wetu kawabariki, Mungu wetu kawaangalie na jicho lako la neema wanapoendelea kulea hawa watoto bwana chochote ambacho wanakinahitajika kwa ajili ya hawa watoto Mungu wetu kawabariki wazazi nacho ili waweze kulea hawa watoto vizuri ni asanti kwa walimu ambao wamejitolea kufanya kazi ngumu ya kufunza hawa watoto bwana na Mungu wetu tuwakurudishia shukurani maana wamejitolea kufanya hiyo kazi tuwaombea baraka zako wanapofunza hawa watoto Mungu wetu baraka zako zikawe juu yao hata wale ambao wako shuleni wanapoendelea na kuelimisha hawa watoto Bwana nao pia Mungu wetu tunakuomba ukawakumbuke na ukawabariki wanapofunza hawa watoto 
wawafunze vizuri na Mungu wetu baraka zako zikae juu yao. Hao watoto Bwana ni wako. Mungu wetu tunaamini ya kwamba watakuwa vizuri na hapa Mungu wetu tutapata watoto wazuri ambao maisha yao yatakuwa mazuri. Wakinge Mungu wetu na madawa yote ya kurevya na urevi na pombe na mambo mengine maovu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Waongoze Mungu wetu baraka zako zikawe juu ya, yao. Wanapoendea madarasani Bwana kusoma. Kawapeana mikononi mwako. Kawaongoze na baraka zako ziwe juu yao. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. Amen. Ah uh, katika madarasa yenu na Mungu aweze kuwabariki. Amen. Wa tu watoto wetu wanapoenda madarasani wamekuwa wengi 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 na hili ndilo kanisa letu la wakati huu. Uh, watoto watoto wanapoenda kusoma na kusikiliza neno la Mwenyezi Mungu tuwapigie makofi Bwana ni mwema Aa, ni wakati wa kusoma Biblia na zetu tupungue katika kitabu cha Waamuzi saba kutoka moja mpaka uh, saba Waamuzi seven Chapter 7, verse 1 to 7. Bwanesu asifiwe, tunasoma kutoka kitabu cha waamuzi, mlango wa saba, kuanzia kwanza mpaka saba, tutasoma. Kisha, Yerubali, yani Gideoni, na watu wote waliokuwa pamoja naye wakaondoka na mapema. Wakapi, wakapika kambi yao karibu na kijito cha Harodi. Na kambi ya miadani ilikuwa upande wao, wao wa kazikazini. Karibu na mulima wa more, bodeni. Bwana akamwambia aka Gideoni. Watu hawa walio pamoja nawe ni wengi mno hata ni kawaite wa midiani katika mikono yao. Wasinje Israeli wakanjivuna juu yangu wakisema mkono wangu mwenyewe ndio ulio niokoa. Basi sasa enda tangaza habari masikioni mwa watu hawa na kusema mtu awaye yote anayeogopa na kutetemeka na arundi aondoke katika mlima wa Girianji ndipo watu 22 elfu wakarundi katika watu hao wakabaki watu elfu kumi. bwana akawa akamwambia ngidioni hata sasa watu hawa ni wengi mno uwalete chini majini nami nitawa jaribu huko kwa anjiri yako kisha Itakuwa ya kwamba yule nitakaye kuambia huyu atakwenda pamoja nawe ndio atakaye kwenda pamoja nawe naye yule naye mtu yule nitakaye kuambia huyu hatakwenda pamoja nawe basi mtu huyo hatakwenda basi akawaleta watu chini majini bwana akawaambia akamwambia Gideoni kila mtu atakaye yaramba maji kwa ulimi kwa ulimi wake kama vile arambavyo mbwa huyo utamweka kando kadhalika kila mtu apigaye magoti kunywa kunywa naye hesabu ya hao waliokunywa kwa kulamba kwa kuramba wakipeleka mkono kinywani ilikuwa watu 300 bali watu wengine wote walipiga magoti kunywa maji Ya saba na ya mwisho Bwana akamwambia Gideoni kwamba watu hawa miatatu walio ya ramba maji nitawaokoa nami nitawatia wa midiani katika mikono yako 
lakini watu hawa wote wengine na waende zao kila mtu mahari pake hiyo ndio neno la Mungu aliyewasomea ni Eni ndi joki na nimeokoka Asante joki ya somo letu la pili linapatikana katika kitabu cha Timothea wa pili kuanzia moja hadi kumi. Somo letu la pili linatoka Timotheo wa pili mstari wa kwanza mlango wa kwanza mstari wa kwanza hadi wa kumi. Timotheo wa pili mlango wa kwanza mstari wa kwanza hadi wa kumi. na tusome Paulo mtume wa Kristo Yesu kwa mapenzi ya Mungu kwa ajili ya ahadi ya uzima ulio katika Kristo Yesu kwa Timotheo mwanangu mpendwa neema na iwe kwako na rehema na amani zitokazo kwa Mungu Baba na kwa Kristo Yesu Bwana wetu namshukuru Mungu ni mwabuduye kwa dhamiri safi tangu zamani za wazee wangu kama vile nikikumbukavyo wewe daima katika kuomba kwa usiku na mchana nami natamani sana kukuona nikiyakumbuka machozi yako ili nijae furaha nikikumbuka imani ulionayo isiyo na unafiki ambayo ilikaa kwanza katika bibi yako Loisi na katika mama yako yunike nami nasaidiki wewe nawe unayo kwa sababu hiyo nakukumbusha usichochee karama ya Mungu iliyo ndani yako kwa kuwe kuwekewa mikono yangu maana Mungu hakutupa roho ya woga bali ya nguvu na ya upendo na ya moyo wa kiasi basi usinione haya ushuhuda wa Bwana wetu wala usinione haya mimi mfungwa wake bali uvumilie mabaya pamoja nami kwa ajili ya ijili kwa kadri ya nguvu ya Mungu abaye alituokoa akatuita kwa mwito mtakatifu si kwa kadiri ya matendo yetu sisi bali kwa kadiri ya makusudi yake yeye na neema yake neema hiyo tulipewa katika Kristo Yesu tangu milele kumi na ya mwisho na sasa inadhihirishwa kwa kufunuliwa kwake mwokozi wetu Kristo Yesu aliyetabiri mauti na kuufunua uzima wa kutokuharibika kwa ile ijili aliyewasomea ni mama Mofat ama Irene Warima na nimeokoka Asante uh, sana Irene uh, kwa kutusomea mkiwa na njoki vizuri Uh, tutaimba wimbo hapana rafiki kama wewe tutaamka wote hapana rafiki kama wewe Mungu wetu Come on, Jesus, you 
Roy ne ma kuje 
Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Jina langu ni Wamoyo, Wamwai. Nimeokoka. Yesu Kristo ni Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Namshukuru kwa sababu ya ubali huu. Najua na nilisema asubuhi kama sio yeye singekuwa na sio mimi peke yangu kama sio nguvu za Mungu hatungekuwa sisi wote. So tukiwa mahali hapa tujue kwamba Mungu ako na sababu yetu kuwa mahali hapa. Please the name of Jesus. God has a reason as why we are here. Amen. This is the, the month of May na tumekuwa tukifunzwa mambo ya commitment ama sijui ni sema kujitoa ama kujitolea. But as I talk about commitment as our topic Ningetaka ujiulize swali moja. Na usiulize mtu. Ujiulize swali moja. Niliitwa na nani? Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Niliitwa na Ujiulize ninapokuwa nina nikiongea neno la Bwana, wewe jiulize. Niliitwa na nani kwa sababu wenye waliitwa na Mungu hawafi moyo. Wenye waliitwa na wanadamu wanatokelezea kwa raini wanatoroka. Umeendelewa? Wenye waliitwa na Mungu hawafi moyo. Lakini wenye walijiita ama wenye waliitwa na wanadamu ndio wanakuta vita katika safari wanaponyoka wanaenda. Hapo mmenielewa? So uwe unajiuliza niliitwa na nani katika hizi challenges za huduma because commitment I'm talking of commitment to God not to anything else. Commitment to God. Nilikuwa na, naona venye uh, chairman amesema tunataka ku recruit watu wa praise in worship and I thank God because I know nitakapokuwa nikimaliza kuhubiri utakuwa ume identify talent yako na utakuwa unakuja tu kanisa kukaa kwa sababu kila mmoja wetu kuna kitu Mungu ali deposit ndani yetu ni vizuri kujua hivyo there is something that God deposited in us Mnaniamini kore kidoga kuna kitu Mungu aliweka ndani yetu hakukuleta tu katika ulimwengu alikuuba alikuteua akaweka kitu this is just a vessel but in this vessel called your name called by your name there is something in you that God put yenye ni ya kufaidi ufalme wake na kusaidia kanisa lake kwa hivyo nitakapokuwa nikiongea utajiuliza this is the time i came to know myself na nikaanza kuja kanisani nimekuwa nikifanyia Mungu nini na hapo ndipo roho mtakatifu ata ata atawashawishi kushawishi kushawishi ama kuchawishi chama ni usiongee unajua venye tumeleteana nini kule vestry so Mungu atakufanya ata usikie kitu ndani yako hebu ndivyo lugha yenye sita haribu maneno Mungu atafanya roho yako ijue kuna kitu Mungu aliwe. Tumesomewa neno vizuri sana. Na nime, nimesema nikihubiri ujiuliza niliitwa na nani? Kwa nini niliacha praise team? Kwa nini niliacha kuja guild? Kwa nini niliacha kutaith? Kwa nini nilikuwa dikon mzuri na sasa nasemanga mimi nitakuwa naenda kanisani na kaa pale nyuma. Lakini sisemi wale wako nyuma. Kuna watu wanasemanga mimi nitakuwa naenda huko nasikiliza mahubiri naenda nyumbani sitaki mambo mengi sio kwa sababu ati ni Mungu alisema lakini katika safari ulisema uli, ulikuta vita uka ukatoka katika line tumesomewa mambo ya mtu ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Gideon na nimesema kila mmoja wetu aliletwa huku na, na sababu Gideon alizaliwa wakati wana Waisraeli walikuwa wanahitaji mkobozi na alipozaliwa akaawa mtu mkubwa ukisoma katika judges utaona venye Mungu alimuita venye alikuwa anaambia Mungu kama ni wewe umeniita fanya hivi kama ni wewe umeniita fanya hivi na Mungu akajidhihirisha kwake ya kwamba ni yeye alikuwa amemuita kwa nini kwa sababu wana Waisraeli walikuwa wauliwe na wamalizwe na wamidiani so Gideon alipojitokeza alipokomana akajua talenti yake ni gani na akajua kipawa cha Mungu aliweka ndani yake Alipo alipofika huo umri na wana Israeli walikuwa wanahitaji mtu wa vita Mungu akamuita na alipomuita Gideon hangeenda peke yake alikuwa aende na watu alikuwa anaenda aende na, na askari vitani so what happened watu walijitokeza assuming i am Gideon na niwaambie nataka twende tukaidie mahali na watu wote karibu watu wote wajitokeze hapa wakuje lakini Mungu akasema Watu hawa ni wengi. Na kwa sababu watu hawa ni wengi, 
Ningetaka uambie wenye wote wako na uoga, sema uoga. Wenye wote wako na uoga, uoga warudi nyumbani. Taibu inasema ya kwamba hao watu kwa sababu walikuwa wengi they were 32 people, 1000 people. So walipo walipoambiwa wenye wanasikia wako na uoga hawawezi enda vitani kwa sababu katika ufalme watu wenye wako na uoga hawawezi fanya kitu. So Gideon na lipo kuja na watu wake wakaambiwa wenye wako na uoga wa, wa, watoke, watokeleze ama watoke. Watu elfu ishirini na bili. Out of 32,000. Watu elfu ishirini na bili. Wakajisikia hawawezi fanyia mungu kazi. Hawawezi yenda vitani. Kwa sababu walikuwa na uoga. Na hawa watu wakaacha gidioni. Haka, wakaenda zao. Na nilisema walikuwa wa, wa, uh, 32,000 people. So wamebaki wangapi? Kama muna nifuata. Wamebaki wangapi? 10,000. Mungu waka wangalia, waka wangalia because mungu alikuwa ana, anaangalia nafsi ambayo itajitolea hata wakati wa shida, hata wakati wa vita, hata wakati mambo itakuwa mengi, hawata toka katika wema wabwana. So, Mungu akawabia bado watu hawa ni wengi. So the 10,000 akasema wapelekwe mtoni. Na hapo ningetaka maji yangu ile mto wangu uletwe hapa. Watu wenye walibaki 10,000 wakapelekwa wapi? Mtoni because Mungu alisema bado hawa watu these people These people are still many. And you better be counted amongst the 300. Kwa sabu wale miatatu mungu alistumia na Gideon walishida na vita. So, walipo enda mtoni, watu wenye wali, walikuwa mtoni siwakuje. Najua kwa nini wasubui walikuwa na wakopa. You know the Bible says that kuna watu wali, wali raba maji kama nini? Kama nini? Wenye tuko nyumbani Bible imesema aje. Si tumesomewa. So musiogope. I'm just, I just want to illustrate. Eh? Wengine wameenda wapi? Kujeni. The Midianites come. Come. I want to show you how tunaitwa na mungu kazini. Lakini tuna fail. Because though we say we are committed, we are not. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, that many are called, but very few are chosen. So they were called 32,000. Wajijitokeza wakatoka nyubani wakacha kazi zao. Wakaja wakaambiwa wenye wakona uoga warudi nyubani. Elfu ishirini na mbili wakarudi nyubani. Mungu wakasema bado hawa watu ni wengi. Wale elfu kumi walikuwa wamebaki. Wakafanyiwa test. Ebu, utajiona uko wapi kama uko kwa, uko kwa, kwa mwalim. Ama uko kwa maina. Itawanyesha venye walifanya. Mimi dia Gideon sasa nataka, ku, nataka kuchunja kulibana na vile mungu ameniambia. Kujia ni hapa dia watu waone. These are the Midianites. So God called Gideon. I, being Gideon of today. Mungu alita Gideoni. Dio akuja na watu wa vita. Kwa sababu kazi ya mungu haihitaji watu ambao ni waoga. Akaita watu. Sasa walipo itu wa maji. It is another test. Eh? Ntawa, let's see a test. I, imagine in a manisha nini. Kuja sasa we kunyo maji. Nani ya taanza? Kuja. <laughs> Mwachane na maina. Sawa? Mwachane na nani? Na maisha. Na itu wa maisha. Maisha. Watu elfu tisa na mia saba out of the ten thousand Walipo pele kwa mtoni diyo watestiwe commitment yao kama ilikuwa serious. Kama vile ulitwa na mungu ufanya kazi, ulipo kuta tuvita tudoko tudoko kwa district tukahama. Ulipo kuta tuvita tudoko tudoko kwa kanisa la PCA unataka sasa kuhama. Ulipo kuta tuvita tudoko tudoko kwa marriage unataka kuhama. Maina, do the necessary. Mutaona, sasa huyu ni askari. Aya, simama maina ni waeleze. This is the weapon, eh? Hii ni nini? This is the weapon, shika weapon yako. So, maina anataka sasa kukunywa maji dio, apite test ya kuingia katika 300 people. Do the necessary maina. This is the weapon now. Unafanya aje? Aye. 
unaweka chini na unaenda vitani upige magoti ukunye maji kama mm, fanya hivyo This is minor. Huyu ni minor eh? Na mshike venye nataka kusema. Mungu amewatoa kwa test ya fear wakaenda nyumbani. Wenye wamebaki sasa, wameambiwa wapelekwe wa mtoni na Gideon. Wenye watakunywa maji kama wapiga, wamepiga magoti, waende nyumbani pia. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu walikuwa waende ka, kwa hawa wa Midiani, asinyi sio wa Midiani. Walikuwa waende hapa wakapigane vita na hawa. So minor ni askari wa Mungu. Na alijitokeza katika wale watu 32,000. Watu, watu, watu 22,000 wakienda nyumbani ye hakuenda. Akajisikia dani yake bado wataendelea na vita. Lakini walipofika kwa muto, maina amepiga magoti. Ebu, ebu muinukieni. Ebu ona. Maina anaona adui. Anaona adui kweli. Kwa sababu anafanya nini? Ameweka nini? Silaha? chini alipo si, weka silaha chini bado yeye anakunywa maji so agevamiwa na hawa na amalizwe sawa sawa because when we were called by god tulikuja huku na tukakubali kufanyia mungu kazi lakini challenges ni nyingi so mungu alipo tulikitika ulitoka kwa uoga wewe huku huku akakikundi cha uoga ukaja kwa mto lakini hapo bado kuko na majaribu kuko na vita bado kuko na mateso kuko na matusi lakini bado maina anakunywa maji kama amepiga magoti badala ya inue silaha yake ndio hawa wakija anawaona enda mshindi we ni mshindi haya we have another team the 300 men so wenye walikunywa maji hivyo maina amekunywa amepiga magoti Mungu akaona hawa wataenda wakitupa waki silaha na huko na hata hawatasaidia wana wasiraili kukombolewa sasa wewe soja George haya kunywa maji tuone utakunywa kama nini just check on what he is doing eh? he knows that there are all enemies on this side so what is he doing hata kama atakunywa maji akiweka aki ndo yake nywe hata kama hata kama atakunywa maji anafanya nini Ebu ebu adui wakijaribu kuja uone venye atawarukia. Because he has a peleka maji. Asante. Si unaona venye mmevamiwa? Tuliitwa na Mungu katika huduma. Sema huduma. Tulitoka kiwango cha watu wa uoga na tukakuja. Si tuko huku? Sasa tuko kwa testi ya maji. Na diyo maana tunatafuta watu wa kufanyia mungu kazi hawa patikani. Kwa sababu wengi wetu tuliweka silaha chini, tukakunywa maji kama vile uyo brother, brother yetu wamekunywa, maadui wakaja wakatuvamia. Lakini wenye walikunywa maji, wakitumia mkono na wanaangalia side na side, hata kama maadui walijaribu kuatoa katika commitment zao kwa kazi ya bwana hawa kuweza. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to challenge you. Kuna mtu ambaye yako kwa Biblia anaitwa Jephtha. Alipoitwa na Mungu kwa sababu safari ya binguni na safari ya huduma, mambo ya huduma ni vita 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 mpaka Yesu arudi. I wish you can know that. Hata Yesu alipokuja katika ulimwengu, alipokuja kutimiza mwito wa baba yake, hakuna wakati Yesu alismile. Wakati aliitwa and he was very much committed to save us from death. Na tusamehewe dhabi zetu. Hakuna wakati Yesu mwana wa Mungu alikuwa anapitia kwa red carpet. Unataka kupitia kwa red carpet katika commitment ya kazi ya Mungu aje itawezekana wapi? Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Ukiitwa na Mungu uitike, uvae silaha zote za vita, ndio commitment yako isiondolewe kwako na yule mwovu. Jephtha alipoenda vitani alikuwa ameambia Mungu, chochote ambacho kitanilaki katika malango yangu nitakupatia ewe Mungu ukinishidania vita. So alipotoka katika vita na alipopewa ushidi, akirudi alikutana na msichana wake amemtembelea, amefurahi baba yake amerudi and she was the only daughter. She had no other child. Lakini Jephtha alisema aje 
Mimi niliapa mbele za Mungu ya kwamba chochote ambacho kitani laki nikitoka vitani na ushidi nimesema ya kwamba nitamtolea Mwenyezi Mungu. So he had no alternative. Alilarua mavazi yake kwa uchungu kwa sababu alikuwa am, am, apeane je, wa mtoto wake kwa, kwa Mungu. So alilarua mavazi yake kwa uchungu kwa sababu ile vao, ile nadhiri aliyomtolewa Mwenyezi Mungu haga i break hata kama kulikuwa na vita. That is Jephitha. So alipotolea Mungu dhabihu hiyo akatoa mtoto wake yule wa pekee Mungu alifurahishwa na yeye. So Jephitha was a very very committed guy. He was committed to the task. Even Gideon was committed to the task. And we must be the Gideons of today. Kwa sababu Mungu anaangalia na jicho lake la huruma atapata nani ambaye anaweza kuboa watu. People are going through depression and you are just there and you have a talent. You have a gift. But because ulipitia shida fulani, ulitoka katika huduma. Praise the name of Jesus. Hapa wengine walikuwa wachungaji. Wengine walikuwa watumishi katika makanisa yenye mulitoka. Lakini uchungu wenye ulitoka nao kule, bado unasikia wezi fanyia mungu kazi. Ni wakati wako, ni wakati wangu, wakutuwa mavazi ya uchungu, ya kut, na, kut, na kusameheana, uwanze kufanyia mungu kazi. We must go back to our original commitment. Praise the name of Jesus. Moses alipo zaliwa, God was looking for a deliverer. Alikuwa natafta mtu wa kukoboa. Na Moses alipozaliwa alizaliwa wakati vijana hawakuwa wa, wa, waishi. Lakini kwa uaminifu wa Mwenyezi Mungu, igawaje alipelekwa kwa mto, Mungu alifunga wanyama wote wa mtoni vijwa mpaka Moses akafikiana akawa deliverer wa Wanaisraeli. Hapa ambapo tulipiga magoti tukanywa maji, tuliacha mwito wetu hapo. Tuliachana na huduma. Ndio maana hatupati watufa, wa kufanya kazi ya Mungu. Na bado tuko huku. Ni maana nilisema jiulize uliitwa na nani wewe? Uliitwa na nani? Sasa uliza mwenzako aliitwa na nani? Mutiora nie. Nyumbani uliitwa na nani wewe kuhudumia Mungu? Kwa kazi ya Mungu uliitwa. Ulisikia sauti ya wamoyo, ulisikia sauti ya chiamani wetu, ulisikia sauti ya, ya elders, ulisikia sauti ya mchungaji, ulisikia sauti gani? Kwa sababu kama ulisikia sauti ya Mungu, hata kama utawekwa mtoni kama Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego bado utatoka ukisema I am still committed to the work of God regardless of this fire. Praise the name of the Lord. So wenye walikuwa 22 uh, I mean 300 wenye walibaki Mungu aliambia Gideon I will use the 300 because even if we withdraw from the work of God the work of God must continue. Out of 32,000 people, only 300 who qualified to work for the Lord. Yes, uliongewa ukakasirika. Hata ulikuja kama bado ukona uchungu. But my question is, uliitwa na nani wewe? No, agwe sirewe la inyoyo. Hatuwezi kosa wafanyi kazi katika nyumba ya buwana na tumeja uku. Praise the name of the Lord. We made vows like Gideon. Tuliambia Mungu, ukinifanyia hivi. We make a vow like Jephthah I mean. Ukinifanyia hivi, nitafanya hivi. Ulipofanyiwa hivyo na Mungu, ulienda wapi? Boma yako ilipovujika Mungu akailejesha na ulikuwa una una, una apa ya kwamba Mungu ukikumbuka mareji yangu kwako sitatoka ulitoka ukaenda wapi pi commitment yako ilienda wapi Ulipokosa kazi Mungu akakubariki na kazi ukaambia Mungu hautatoka kwa nyumba yake ulienda wapi ulipopata kazi Ulipokuwa unaapa Mungu kinikumbuka unipe mtoto kwa sababu nimekugojea kwa miaka mingi sitatoka kwa nyumba yako ulipapa kama hana ulipobarikiwa na Mungu na watoto uko wapi sasa Mungu anauliza uko wapi In the book of Genesis 6:6 six, six, Mungu alipouba mwanadamu amfanyie kazi Lakini 
mwanadamu akaanza kufanya vituko zake na akatoka katika jia za Bwana. Na Mungu akasema I regret as to why I created human beings. Kudigret ni kufanya? Kudigret ni kujuta good. Could it be that Mungu anajuta kwa nini alikuleta katika pisi hii kitengela? And you are just there. There is nothing you do. You are just there. You are just looking at things. Mungu asiwahi juta kwa sababu yangu. Mungu asiwahi juta kwa sababu yako. Uko na kipawa cha uibaji bado uko huko. Uko na kipawa cha kuombea watu bado uko, cha kuomba bado uko huko. Uko na kipawa cha kuongoza district bado uko huko. Unakaa huko unafanya nini? Mungu anakuuliza, ulienda wapi ni nipo kubariki? Hi. Praise the name of Jesus. You know we have a lot of people here chairman. Na ninakwambia hapa hatuwezi kosa wachungaji walikuwa wanahudumu makanisa fulani. But thank God that you are here. Come back to your calling. Come back to your calling. Na nilisema mtu mwenye ameitwa na Mungu hata ukakanyangwa. Commitment yako haiwezi toka. Hata ukatusiwa. Hata ukaongewa. You will be shining in the morning, you will be shining in the afternoon, you will be shining in the evening, you will be shining at night because he who called you is faithful. Praise the name of Jesus. I was telling people in the morning when I was sick. Nikiingia vieta vina nilikuwa naambia Mungu. Guys, guy. Yaani unaambia Mungu, yaani unamuongelea kama ako hapo. Mungu ukinipeleka vieta nitoke nikiwa mzima. Na operation niende through na ni operation ya masaa matano. Matano ama matano, whichever. 5 hours in English. I was telling God nikitoka tu. Mungu nikitoka. Na huobi na kwa mdomo sababu hujui kama utatoka unaambia Mungu kwa roho, ukinitoa vieta Mungu nitakufanyia kazi. The Lord was challenging me. What you said ukiwa hospitali in November 16. Are you doing it? Mungu alinipeleka na akanitoa na akaniponya. So I don't believe there is anything on earth all under the earth all in heaven that can separate me from the love of God because he who called me is faithful. Na nimesema Chadrach na Meshach na Abednego walisema aje eh mfalme wetu naijulikane kwako we are very much committed to our God that hata ukitutupa katika moto akose kutuokoa we cannot bow to you. We have compromised. Paolo akaambia Timotheo Usikubali kujifunga na mambo ya ulimwengu huu kwa sababu itakutoa katika wema wa Bwana itakutoa katika kazi za Bwana ni watu wengi sana hapa wa, wangekuwa wanafanyia Mungu kazi but the challenges are so, so many so i told you water yenye hiyo mtu yenye walikuwa na wakapiga magoti those are the trials that we go through after the calling expect storms after the calling expect challenges after the calling, ukisikia mungu wa mekuita na ujikomet, ukoje vita za kila aina. But I'm telling you, you must be strong and work for the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Wakati ya ukuwa na chakula, chakula, yani chakwekelea kwa meza, uliku unabia mungu waje? God, if you give me food to eat, I'll be grateful. I'll be serving you. Mungu wa likubariki na chakula nyingi na mabomengi. Ulienda wapi? That is my question. In commitment, ulienda wapi? Daka ide Jehovah. Odeko. Sauti, sauti. Unaoba mungu wakati gani? Go kaera. Ere ademo haru. Ere itare besa. Nore oguliri kana. Mm-hmm. Kai. Unasikia vinyo munasema njini? 
Munasikia venye munasema hapo ya mwisho? Na riraji gane? Na, na nini? Atina mambo ya dunia? Wale ambao hakuelewa hiyo lugha, muibaji alikuwa nasema, alimlilia mwenyezi mungu, mungu waka mbariki na mari, na ngobe na buzi na magari makubwa na majima makubwa, akajihisi dani yake ni kama ametochereze. Um, eh. Mwazani jesu. Acha dikodi ya nyake kino ugo yono ko. <laughs> yani uyo mtu wakasikia kama? Wewe unajua sema ni nini? Kama? Ah good. Tumpige makofi. <laughs> Chia manu wetu. <laughs> Alipo barikiwa na chakula na watoto na buwana mzuri na mke mzuri na gari kubwa na manjuma makubwa na njuba ya kukaa na mavazi mazuri ya nabadilisha kila time. Ati ya katoshereka. Ya katoshereka. Ya keigane na... <laughs> Oh God. Lakini akasema, lakini wakati shida zina nitafuta tena. Ndio nakutafuta. Kwa nini ungoje Mungu utaje ungoje kutafuta Mungu wakati shida zimekuja? Kwa nini tupore Mungu kama komfora gai huo? Yaani unagojea Mungu hapa unampora pesa, unampora mari, unampora. Then hakuoni tena, anakuona mgongo. But when the problem comes again, you come back to God. God, I pray. My God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Lord, help me to reap even in the time of drought, like Isaac. Lakini wakati uririp kama Isaac ulienda wapi? Wanaesu wapewe sifa. Let us commit ourselves to God in seasons and out of Na nikulize tena, nani alikuita katika huduma wewe? Sabu likuwa diko na wedi hata district. Pengine ulikatalia nyumbani kwa sababu ya kitu kini kukwaza. Ebu jiulize nani aliniita katika hii kazi? Nani? Ibe it is a human being, Usi, usifanye kazi. Okay? Kama ni mwanadamu usifanye? Sababu hana malipo. Lakini kama ni mungu. Toka mahali umeka. Jo ufanyie mungu kazi. Mambo ya kukwaza na kukwaza na haitakosa. Sio kanisani hata kwako nyubani. Sabu likwaza na bwana yako ulitoroka. Sabu likwaza na mtoto wake ulimtupa. So how comes that we committed ourselves to God? Tukakuja hapa kwa mtu, tukakunywa maji vibaya, tukapiga mako, tukaweka silaha chini. Tukatoka katika kazi ya bwana. Let me tell you, wenye wanatumikia mungu wanalipwa. Wachana na pesa, pesa ni mzuri. Batu wenye wanafanya kazi katika nyumba ya bwana. Wenye wanafanya huduma kuligana na tareze nye mungu wamewapatia. Na kuambia wanalipwa. Wako na amani. That is one. Wakuna, wakuna kutosheka. Kutoshereka. Look at those people who serve God. And serve him. They shine even in darkness. And I want to repeat this. Them that never compromise. They are calling and commitment to God. Even in darkness, they shine. Angalia wenye walikuwa wanafanyia mungu kazi wakaachia na nayo, watafute kwao. Watafute. Wenye walikuwa committed katika kazi hii ya mungu. My desire is, tuwe katika iyo kudia watu miatatu. Wenye walikunywa maji kama wameshika siraha hivi. Dio maadui wakija, wali waona. Wewe huoni ya dui sababu sila hazote, ziliwe, uliweka chini. Vita ikija kwa familia, umeangushwa. Vita ikija kupitia watoto, umeanguka. Vita ikija kupitia maisha ni mwako hauko. Vita ikija katika kazi yako hauko. Lakini wenye wanakatalia kwa mungu. Mungu wanakataa na wao wakati wa vita. Mbana yesu wapewe sifa. So why don't you just make a decision today? I was serving God in this church five or ten years ago. I was quasward. Kukwazo. Kuhigo. Nilihengo. Sasa kama ukienda, ata kama ukienda kwa barabara unahengwa. Unaanguka. Hupiti hiyo barabara tena. Muna nijibu. Ukienda kazini si unakwazwa. Unaanguka, 
unaenda kubadilisha iguo uende kazini hata kama ni kwa matope si unaenda nyumbani unabadilisha guo mbona kwa Mungu tu ndio ukikozwa hiyo si kanisa tena mimi ni atia mureda kuuga let us work for the lord it doesn't matter what we will go through tutakunywa maji kama yule alikuwa hapa anaitwa George mwenye alikunywa kama ameshika silaha anaona adui kwa saidi hii anaona adui kwa saidi hii adui akitoka na huku jua na muona tusiache kufanyia Mungu kazi we must commit ourselves to god because the 300 men plus gideon they delivered the israelites nikimalizia niseme hivi daudi alipofanyia mungu kazi hata kama alikuwa na challenges mungu alimwambia hivi katika nyumba yako hii mshike na muadalaini katika nyumba yako ama nyumba laani yako ama lako in your house in your family hatukakuta kosa mfalme hakuta kosa begu ya ufalme na ndio nimemwambia wakati Abraham ali, alitumikia Mungu sana hata in, in death wakati alikuwa kwa grave in the grave Isaac enjoyed the blessings uliacha kazi ya Mungu na pengine you are the only deliverer to your children ya kwamba Mungu akienda kwa faile yake ataangalia venye watoto wako wamekuwa watukutu akiangalia ile kazi umemfanyia anafunga file anabadilisha watoto wako Daudi aliambiwa katika nyumba lako hakutakosa ufalme kwa sababu umenipenda umejitoa unajitoa kwa watu wengine unajitoa kwa vyama vya wamama unajitoa kwa grupu zenu za, za uku, za uko nje lakini kwa kazi ya Mungu hupatikani come back to god So can I guy commit yourself to god it's a time that it's a high time that you, you should let go and let god serve god let the pain be out of your heart let that bitterness come out of your heart because hata mwenye alikukwaza alimaliza hiyo mambo na akubuki hata but you cannot even what okay go home district huwezi omba ndio giho yani ruo huwezi ombesha Nisalimieni kwa mkono. Habari zenu. Praise the Lord. Watu wenye walikuwa za wainue mkono. Asio. Nimekuuliza ukikwazo ukitoka pale, uanguke pale, utaka hapa milele. Si utajipanguza hivi na uende. Wengine walikuwa wameokoka waka backslide. Kama vile unaanguka kwa matope, unarchida hapo, unakuja kuchukuliwa na watu wengine. Unafanya aje? Unaamka si unaona hapa niko na, na karema nilianguka lakini sikukaa tu hapo nilianguka nilianguka tu kidogo lakini sikukaa hapo milele niliamka hata niliangalia kama kuna mtu ameniona Na nikaendelea na safari Kama nilikuwa kama nilikuwa watu, watu hao walikwazwa na, na niliwa kakunywa maji kama ningekaa tu hapo Sukos sababu ni pale Sukos hospital nikaa hapa mpaka watu wafikirie nimegojeka sana kuhurumiwa nipelekwe ward but i felt in my my heart nitoki haraka na nie kama uli backslide and you are committed to god why don't you come back to god so kere rai guy that is my message tumrudie mungu wake it is not in vain to serve god it is not in vain hata kama baraka zingine utazipata watoto wako watakula wajukuu wako watakula na mungu ni mwaminifu Mungu si si mudharimu. Kanibwa kwerako. Mungu si mure ya ngoro. Hiyo. Yaani hawezi kukuchezea karata. Walio nyumbani I know you have reasons as to why you, you didn't come to church. But kama uko huko na unalikwazika utakagi kuja kanisa please come. Just come. There is your space to serve God here. Abia mtu mwenye mwekana eh Mungu anakuhitaji huko. We give our leaders support. We serve God together because serving God is not in vain. Hata ukiwa kwa motoni unatoka na unatoka huko Mungu anakutoa huko unasema Mungu ni Mungu ni Mungu. Ukiwekwa katika tudu la siba unaambia mfalme nitaingia huko but the third person will be with me. Yesu anakuja. Anakuinua katika hilo shimo 
Ilo tundu na siba. There is a God in heaven who is calling ba us back to himself. Adio ni mesema, afadhali kukaa kwa mungu. Afadhali kufanyia mungu kazi. Usife moyo. We ulikuwa mchungaji unahudumu kwenu. Ulikuwa praise team. Ulikuja PCA. Karibu sana. Karibu sana. Come and serve the Lord. We ulikuwa deacon. Hata miezi tisa, miezi, miezi ya kuchagwana, mwezi ya kuchagwana ujafika. Hufanyi kazi. Ulikasilika the very first month. Come back. Mwede mudhaidhire ma. Just come back we serve God. We ni wa praise team. Ulikanyangwa tu kidogo hivi. Hivi. Mkanyagano hiko. Sio huku kutu. Kwe, hata kwenye unataka kuhamia. Huko diko kubaya. Kwenye unataka kuhamia. Jaribu. Jaribu tu kidogo. Hakuna mahali hakuna mkwaza. But rededicate yourself to God again. We need church school teachers. We need good members. We need praise team leaders. We need choir. Habari ya choir? Mi na maliza sahi. Da kaide jehova wake ya togo yo moige matosho wena guo o toga wakwa moige wabo lina ngobe nige na niegyo na tada iganera geli ganero ne gayo he ana go kaera jehova gai wakwa Gai wakwa Nogwa goli rika na gai monyobi Na lele ajiga neire Na maodo mave Dige Dika hizi points tuombe A committed Christian Hiyo usiandike nita kumbia Mtu ambaye anajikomet, anaitika mwito, kama hawa tunaona apambele na wengine. They must go through suffering. Say suffering. Lazima wapitie mso. Mungu hawezi kukuita alafu ukae tu hapo. Hakuna mwenye alifanya huduma katika biblia mwenye haku teseka. Lakini akiteseka mungu walikuwa na yeye. So if you are called by God and you are serving God, you must go through suffering to become a vessel of honor. So you must persevere the pain and the battles that you are going through and you serve God. In the level that you are in, in your capacity, you must serve God. Then, number two, those he calls, he also qualifies. Wale ambao mungu anaita ata kama wanakani, kama si watu wakupendeka, mungu anawavisha utukufu wake, anawakualify katika huduma, na wanafanya kazi ya mungu. So if you want to commit yourself to God, usijitharao, Kuna kitu kiko dani yako, wewe, dani ya hiyo vezo, abacho mungu anataka kutumia. Then, number three is that you must conquer fear. Because fear ilifanya watu elfu ishirini na mbili warudi nyubani. Ishirini na mbili warudi nyubani. So you must conquer fear. Hmm. Don't entangle yourself with the affairs of this life. Usi, usibarikiwe na mungu, Baraka hizo zikuzuye kufanyia mungu kazi. Usikubali yaki, usikubali. Mungu, God cannot afford to lose you in the ministry. So ata ukibarikiwe ufike kiwango gani. Ata ukipewa fedha za aina gani. Ata mungu akikubariki ufike kiwango gani. Usijaribu kue exchange blessing. Ni gugate haa haliu. Usikubali kubadilisha baraka zako. Hmm. Usikubali kubadilisha the blesser with the blessings. Kili ambacho mungu wa mekubariki. Kuna wakati ya uku wana kwa kwa sasa uko na nyuba yako. Unaingia unafungua geti yako. Usikubali utoshereke na hiyo ukose kufanyia mungu kazi. Kuna wakati ya uku wana kazi ukapewa kazi nyingi. Ukapewa duka kubwa. Usikubali kujifunga na hizo ukose kuja katika huduma. Because mungu wata kutafuta na wata kupata. So usijaribu, usijaribu ku exchange bless, blesser na blessing zako. Hey, hey, the other one is that. Hakuna mtu ambaye amekaa huku. Mwenye haku umwa na mungu na sababu. You are a deliverer to someone's life. Kuna mtu anasava and you are just there. So uji, uji, uamuke ujitingize hivi. 
uto, kile ambacho kinakuzuia kufanya kazi ya Mungu kiodoke uanze kufanyia Mungu kazi people are committing suicide now and then maybe if you are there if you have availed yourself kama alikupikia hii simu ukaenda pengine hangefanya hivyo people are so depressed but maybe you are here and you are a counselor you are just there you are not doing anything come back to god's work the last one commit and rededicate yourself to god commit and rededicate yourself to god and don't let anything separate you from the love of god praise the name of jesus simameni tuombe mungu Mimi ningetaka tuombe because una, you are suffering at home. Unasafa huko nyumbani na pengine chenye kingefanya kinge, kinge uwe na furaha ni kufanyia Mungu tu kazi. Kufanya tu huduma. Ulikuwa mahali ulikuwa unasoma kanisa lakini kwa jia moja ama nyingine kuna kuna mahali uliumia and you feel like all churches are like that come and serve God. Our God is the God of a second chance. Maybe ulikwazwa katika huduma yenye Mungu alikupatia na ukasema utakuwa unakaa pale nyuma na huta hutaki hata salamu. Unajua kuna watu wanakasirika wanakaa pale nyuma ndio wasisalimiwe na mtu. And I'm talking the truth because the few their hearts are so much wounded. They have nothing to do with, with, with the church leaders. They have nothing to do with Christians, but they come thank God that you came. Why don't you just commit yourself to God and, and then you pour that which is in your heart enye inakuzuia kufanyia Mungu kazi. There is nothing that can separate me from the love of God. The Father the Lord has brought me. I cannot compare my God with anything. Anything I mean anything. Whatever God gives me and I myself we belong to him. You and that which is enye inakuzuia kufanyia Mungu kazi you belong to God. Why don't you just say today I will dedicate myself to God. I will serve God because we serve God through in three ways. There is ability that is talents. There is time wakati wako and there is possession mali zetu. Why don't you just commit yourself to God again? Na gaini hataka Mungu anaweza. Inua mikono yako mbele za Mungu jiombe because where you now jua ulikwazwa wapi? Ulifanya nini? Ni nini ilikufanya usifanyie Mungu kazi? Na baraka zako mahali uliachia kazi? Ziliko tu hapo Mungu hawezi pia mtu mwingine mahali ulikuwa umefika mahali mlikuwa mmefikishana na Mungu ukaacha kazi ya Mungu commitment zako zikaenda God will never ask mwenye alikukwaza but your blessings are still there could be you are suffering you are really suffering in your heart all you need is God Lord we worship you Jesus let us pray because this church needs workers committed workers of God watu wenye hawatakwaza wanaenda kabisa kanisa inabaki kama iko uchi watu wenye watasema hata kama nitatoka nitatolewa sitatoka kwa sababu niliitwa na Mungu na nitafanyia Mungu kazi watu wenye waliitwa na Mungu hawakufi moyo hawachoki hawa, hawa wakitumikia wa Mwenyezi Mungu swali so, langu ni uliitwa na nani wewe uliitwa na nani Lord we worship you Jesus. Bwana tumekuja kwako. Kulinua jina lako. Kwani wewe watosha. Wewe furaha yetu.
pray. I want us to pray. It's about you and God. It's not about you and PCA Kitengela Township. It is about you and God himself. It is not about you and Evangelist Ramoyo. I'm just but a vessel. Even at home, I want to pray with you. If you are there and you feel in your heart there is a gift, kuna talent ambayo unaweza fanyia Mungu kazi. Na ulikuwa unafanyia Mungu kazi. Lakini kwa njia moja ama ingine Ulisikia hutaki hiyo huduma I am telling you God is calling you back God is calling you back Just lift up your heart before the Lord Inuwa mkono wako mbele za bwana Kama unasikia dani yako Ungetaka kufanyia mungu kazi Mungu hame kufanyia kazi nyingi Hame kupa afya Wengi wako katika mochari Hawa mki hawa ibi Lakini bado uko huku uko na nguvu Bona usifanyie mungu kazi Inua mkono wako mbele za bwana. Inua mkono wako tu mbele za bwana. We pray we just thank you for those hearts. Thank you for those hearts. I thank you Lord. I worship you Jesus. I give you glory Jesus. I give you glory Jesus. Just come. Kujeni hapa tuombe. Kujeni hapa tu. I just feel in my spirit we should pray. Just come. Usiogope kuja. Ukuokoka, ama ulikuwa umeokoka Uka backslide Kuja umrumie mwenyezi mungu Oh Lord we thank you Jesus We give you glory We worship you Lord Lord we give you glory If born again Christians are going through such kind of storms, what about you? Kama wanye wako kwa mungu bado wanapitia changamoto. We unapopitia changamoto, unapeleka shida zako wapi? Sukuje kwa mungu. Sukuje kwa mungu tu. Akuokoe nafsi yako. Fanyie mungu kazi. Ufanyie mungu kazi. Just, just, just say, tell God something. Before we pray with you, just tell God something. Na hapa kama kuna mtu wamekuja kuokoka, ainwe tumukono. Kama kuna mtu wamekuja hapa kupokea Yesu kama buwana na mwokozi, inuwa mkono wako. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We give you glory, Jesus. We give you all. Let us be prayed for. Tu amini na tuombe pamoja. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tumekuja mbere zako mungu wetu wakati wa rasiri. Mana tumesikia neno rako mwenyezi mungu. Yes Lord. Asante Mungu wetu kwa sababu umeona ni vizuri urete neno rako wakati mzuri kama huu. Mm. Tukushukuru tuainua na tuariheshimu jina rako. Yes, Wewe Mungu unatuambia unatujua kwa majina yetu. Mm. Mungu wetu atuambia ya kwamba unatuwaza mambo mema. Mm. Tazama Bwana kutoka wakati ulituokoa. Mm. Tumekuwa na uh, tumekuwa tukitamani kufanya kazi yako. Yes. Lakini yule mwovu shetani ya nyuma. Mm. Na sasa mungu wetu, mm. tumekuja mbele zako kukiri dambi zetu. Mm. Na kukuomba mwenyezi mungu, mm. ukaturejeshe katika kazi In yako. Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Mm. 
Baba tuomba kurejeshwa na wewe. Mm. Ni kazi nyingi tulikuwa tunakufanyia. Oh, yes, Wengine walikuwa ni waombezi. Yes. Wengine walikuwa ni wanakwaya. Yes. Wengine bwana walifanya kazi baribari katika nyumba yako. Mm. Lakini mwovu shetani amewarudisha nyuma. Mm. Na sasa tunakiri Mungu wetu. Mm. Ya kwamba hawa watarudia kazi yako. Amen in Jesus katika name. jina la Yesu Kristo. Mm. Utawapa ujasiri, mm. wataweza kusimama vizuri mm. na kazi yako wataendelea naye yes. katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Mm. Ni asante Mungu wetu. Kuna wengine walikuwa wameokoka Bwana yes. na wameweza kurudi nyuma. Mm. Sasa Mungu wetu tunakuomba mm. ukaweze kuokoa mara tena. Maana wewe ndio uko na nguvu ya kuokoa oh, yes, katika jina la Yesu Kristo mm. kupitia damu ya mwana wa Yesu Kristo mm. utarudisha wingi kwako Bwana mm. katika jina la Yesu Kristo mm. Asanti kwa hawa wote Bwana yes. Tumetangaza Mungu wetu mm. ya kwamba ka, watarejea katika kazi yako mm. maana utawapa nguvu na uwezo mm. ya kukutendea kazi mm. tumeweka mikononi mwako mm. ukawabariki na ukae pamoja na wao Katika jina Yesu Kristo, tumiomba na kwa. Amen, 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 amen. God bless you so much. Amen. Lord, we thank you because of this service. We give you glory and we give you honor, Jehovah Father. Lord, we commit the week that we are starting tomorrow at your humble hearts, O oh God. We pray that God, you may give us grace, dear Lord, to overcome every challenge, O oh God, in Jesus' name. And we cover ourselves by the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you and worship your holy name because it is well with us. And dear Lord, this church, God, we thank you and worship your holy name. We thank you and worship your holy name because nothing shall separate us from your love. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Musiketi, musiketi, si mwameni hapo. Kwa sababu ya kuchukua hatu ya imani. Chairman wa praise and worship, kuja hapa. Eh, kuja hapa. Sasa, okay, ni tu kwa hiyo mrango. And then, msema hile huduma munafanya hata waandika. Hata nitampea kitabu na karamu. Sawa, sawa. Na muwapigie makofi sababu ya kujitokeza. Wenda hapo inje. Na asaidiwe na mwingine. Mary. Na maina. Wasaidie. Buwana asifiwe. Asanti uh, sana muhubiri wetu wa siku ya leo. Kwa kutukumbusha ni wakati wa uregesho. Uh, katika malisho ya buwana. Buwana asifiwe naye anayetulinda na naye tuongoza katika kutulisha uh, ni mchungaji mwema ambaye ni Mwenyezi Mungu ni wakati wa matoleo sadaka na zaka zetu na fungo la kumi. Bwana asifiwe eh, ni wakati wa kujitolea uh, katika nyumba ya Bwana kwa hivyo iko bahacha zinazunguka uh, tuweze kuzichukua na kuzilete hapa mbele tuko na paybill tuko na paybill yetu ya kanisa uh, kwa nao tumia simu uh, nafikiri itawekwa hapo paybill unaweza kutoa offering ama fungo la kumi kupitia kwa paybill Maliza kufanya hivyo tutasimama Ha naam ndio hiyo pay bill yetu 3240 naweza kulipa fungo la kumi, naweza kutoa offering na kuandika kama ni offering ama ni 10% uh, na Mungu ataweza kuibariki tusimame na ili tuweze kushukuru leo kulikuwa na induction ya wa former uh, moderator wa Reverend Michael Jige na ndipo sasa unaona wazee wengi wa kanisa hawakuweza kuhudhuria uh, na pia members walikuwa wamealikwa uh, ni vile tu atungeweza kufunga kanisa kama vile chia mani alibo tupamisha, tungekuwa wote tumeenda, lakini tukabaki na ili tuweze e, kufanya yale aliyokuwa mbele etu, a, na, tuwe na, na ili tukue na ibada. A, na tuombe kwa ajili ya offering, 
baba watujua asandi kwa uregesho katika kazi yako na asandi sababu tumetubu dhambi zetu kwamba pahali tulipo achia kazi hii baba yetu wa mbinguni utusamehe na utuondolee dhambi hiyo na ili tukue waaminifu katika kazi hii ambayo umetupa mchungaji mwema wewe ndiye Mungu wetu ambaye tu anaweza regesha na akaturegesha katika wema wako na fadhili zako asandi baba yetu wa mbinguni kwa uwepo wako katika ibada ye, ya leo kwa kushukuru asandi baba yetu wa mbinguni kwa ajili ya kutubariki na offering na fungo la kumi na ku, kuja nazo katika nyumba yako tuomba baraka zako za kipekee wewe uonae katika siri utubariki katika uwazi wako na ukae pamoja nasi sababu tunanyenyekea na tuwasema ni wewe tu katika maisha yetu tubariki manyumbani mwetu tubariki sehemu zetu za kazi tubariki hata mashambani mwetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo nazo dhaka ambazo nazo fungo la kumi ambalo tumeamini uh, na tumeaminia jambo moja ama lingine baba yetu wa mbinguni kati kati ya matatizo yetu na shida zetu ukakutane nasi asandi mwokozi twatenga hizi pesa zote ila tu kwa kazi yako na kazi ya parokia hii na kazi ya kanisa hili twasema ni asandi kwa kutupa nafasi ya kushiriki katika ibada ya siku ya leo ni asandi Mungu wetu nenda pamoja nasi na ukae pamoja nasi sababu tuomba baraka zako zikae pamoja nasi na ni katika jina safi la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini amen tulete tulete hapa mbele na tuweke katika sanduku ziko hapa ambazo ziko hapa mbele Takushukuru na munagani we Takushukuru na munagani we Takushukuru na munagani we Oe oe na munagani we Takushukuru na munagani we Takushukuru na munagani we Takushukuru na munagani we Ulipoteza saa Bwana asifiwe na ni saa ya bei ya juu uh, utakuona pale vestri na ili uweze kuchukua imekutikana imeanguka katika uwanja wetu uh, kwa hivyo utuone na ili tuweze kukabidhi uh, now the grace Walio yongozea ibada ni district ya Amani na uh, tunawapenda na Bwana onaye katika siri ya wabariki katika uwazi wake. Asante. Uh,